Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching another older classic that I have never seen. It's Back to the Future. So, um, I don't know very much about this one either, just what I've heard over time. So, of course I've heard, you know, this has time travel in it. And I know a few words from this movie. I've heard flux capacitor. I've heard about a DeLorean, which I think is a car. Um, and I think the general idea of time travel and sort of not changing things in the past because it will change things in the future is the main uh, idea in this movie, I think. And that is all I know. So I don't know anything about the story, the characters, um, and I'm excited to jump in and see what it's about. So thank you for being here. And yeah, let's get to it. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's tune in. A lot of clocks. No one would have this many clocks in their home. It would be so noisy. The rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago. A Libyan terrorist group had claimed responsibility for <laughs> clerical error. The FBI was This is someone's house. And they have everything all rigged up. The automatic, but that's not working properly, clearly. That toast looks awful. Dog food. Oh, gross. The dog's name is Einstein. What's going on? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it probably smells terrible in there. Burnt toast, a pile of dog food. I don't think anybody's been here in a while. That's the missing plutonium. Doc stole it. Who is Doc? Mm -hmm. Holy smokes! Whoa, look at the size of that. His hair's gonna fly off. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> Holy smokes, he was overconfident with that. What's that? Fire alarm? Yo! Marty, is that you? Phone! Hey, hey Doc! Holy! Where are you? Way to get to school ever. Minimal effort. Oh, Jennifer. Marty, don't go this way. Strickland's looking for you. If you get caught, it'll be four tardies in a row. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. All right, come on. I think we're safe. What a nice girl. You know, Saving him from his tardies. Dr. Brown is dangerous. He's a real nutcase. You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. Can I go now, Mr. Strickland? You don't have a chance. You're too much like your old man. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Wow, he really hates the McFlies. Change. Battle of the Bay. With the pinheads. The pinheads. Cute band name. Pretty good for a high school band. Hello, fellas. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Oh, what? what? It's Battle of the Bands. They're exactly as loud as they should be. I wonder what they were looking for. Never gonna get a chance to play in front of anybody. Marty, one rejection isn't the end of the world. Nah, I just don't you're right, think Jennifer. I'm cut out for music. But you're good, Marty. You're really good. I mean, I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. Jesus, I'm starting to sound like my old man. Come on, he's not that bad. Save the clock tower! What an obnoxious <laughs> woman! <laughs> an initiative to replace that clock. 30 years ago, lightning struck that clock tower, and the clock hasn't run since. Thank you. Don't forget to take a flyer. I've got to go. Oh, jeez. Bye. I love you. Aw, Jennifer. I wish I could skateboard. He looks so fun. I once tried to stand on one, and I immediately... <laughs> my feet came out from under me, and I fell on my butt. So, <laughs> I never tried again, but... It's such a fun way to get around. Biff, um, can I... Can I assume that your uh, insurance is going to pay for the damage? My insurance? It's your car. 
I spilled beer all over when that car smashed into me. Who's gonna pay my cleaning bill? He spilled uh, beer all over himself reports. while driving. Uh, well, I Shoot. Shoot. So you know, I, I so not what I pictured for his Hello? dad. I thought they were saying he was like a bad, oh, a badass oh, kind of guy, fine. but he's quite the opposite Thanks. of that. What would happen punch this if guy. I he's kind of a bully. In your handwriting? Biff. Now look, I'll, uh, Don't like Biff. On up tonight and I'll run him on over first thing tomorrow, all right? Hey, not too early. I sleep what a pushover. Oh, oh no wonder he doesn't really like his dad. So I mean, he seems like a sweet guy, but he's absolutely being walked over. Nice, what are you looking at, butthead? <laughs> butthead. <laughs> your mom this guy's a class act. Afraid I'm just not very good at confrontations. Same. The car. I Dad. get it. I needed that car in the morning, Dad. I mean, you the have decor any in this house. How important this was to me. Do you have any clue? I'm sorry. Jennifer Parker called you twice. I don't like her, Marty. Any girl who calls up a boy is just asking for trouble. Oh, oh there's nothing wrong with calling a boy. When I was your age, I never chased a boy or called a boy or sat in a parked car with a boy. It just happened. Like the way I met your father. That was so stupid. Grandpa hit him with the car. <laughs> it was meant to be. Still don't understand what Dad was doing in the middle of the street. What was it, George? Bird watching? Yeah, Mom, we know you. You felt sorry for him, so you decided to go with him to the fish under the sea dance. No, no, it was the enchantment under the sea dance. Our first date. And it was then that I realized that I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. <laughs> oh, my. Einstein? Aww, that's so cute. What is that? What is that? Out of time. What is all over this car? Whoa! <laughs> okay. This is the guy with all the clocks, and he is just as nuts as I thought he would be. Welcome to my latest experiment. This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m., and this is temporal experiment number one. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check done. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch ahead. He's sending him. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. <laughs> okay. Oh. Watch this, watch Whoa. This. Um, move. Structure both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where? Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? It's one minute into the future to be exact. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> it worked. I thought maybe he wasn't gonna come back. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know why I didn't have complete faith in this guy. Is everybody okay in there? She's just cooling down. Oh, he's okay. Einstein, what a kitty! Einstein's clock is exactly one minute behind mine. It's still ticking. November 5th, 1955. That was the day I invented time travel. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. The flux, flux capacitor. capacitor. Uh, does it run like on, on regular unleaded gasoline? Unfortunately, no. It requires something with a little more kick. Plutonium! Doc, you don't just walk into a store and, and buy plutonium. Nope, Did you, you that steal off? it. Of course, from a group of Libyan nationalists. I'm about to embark on an historic journey. What am I thinking of? I almost forgot to bring extra plutonium. How do I ever expect to get back? One color, one trip I must be oh on about that. Yeah. Uh-oh. Somebody's coming. He's gotta go. Oh my god. Run for it, Marty! 
Who? Who? Who do you think? The Livian! Uh oh. Oh my god, they killed him! No! Bastard! <gasps> what about the plutonium? He's not going to be able to get back. I'm so nervous. He's going to get stuck in the past. Okay, she's just gonna hide it behind the big sign. So he's in, oh, he's in the same town, but everything just looks so weird. Oh, the clock tower still works. November 5th. Dream. He told you it was a time machine. What's with the life preserver? <laughs> Just want to use the phone. Yeah, it's in the back. <laughs> you know where 1640 Riverside Are you going to order something, I kid? Rude. Give me, give me a tab. Hey, McFly! What do you think you're doing? Death. <sighs> hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. Oh, it's his hey, dad. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Yeah, you got my homework finished, McFly? Uh, hello? hello? He's been Anybody home? bullying his dad McFly. since they were young. I gotta have time to recover. Aww. What are you looking at, butthead? Hey, Biff, get all of this guy's butthead. life. Butthead. Every time. Thinks he's gonna drown. Oh, McFly, your shoes are tied. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a jerk. Okay. What's he gonna say to him? You can't call him dad. He's like the same age as you. This would be so weird. <sighs> can you imagine all of a sudden you're in your hometown, but your parents are your own age and you're meeting them? Holy smokes, that would be so weird. My parents would look so different. <laughs> doing oh he's not bird watching he's boob watching that's so creepy oh my god he's a peeping tom yeah he is oh. dad. we call him dad oh no wait this is how his parents were supposed to meet but uh he just oh, wrecked yeah. it So, okay, so what's gonna happen now? Because he ruined their meetup. My it's his mom. mom. You're my mom. My name is Lorraine. But you're, uh, you're so, uh, you're so. He thinks she's hot, which is so weird. Oh my God, this is weird. Oops, got no pants on. my pants. Over there. Oh my God, this is so Bye. weird. That's your mother. She is hitting on you. Oh my god. This is so uncomfortable. Don't you think you ought to spend the night? I think maybe you should spend the night. And he can sleep in my room. Oh my god. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Thanks oh for gosh. watching. It's wonderful. You're all great. Run. Uh, see you all later. That is your mother. Parents are probably idiots oh too. Gosh. She's in love and not with the right Lorraine, guy. You have a kid who acts that way. I'll disown you. Doc? Maha. <laughs> don't say a word. Doc, I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know anything about you. Listen, Doc. Quiet. Doc. Oh, Doc. Help me. I'm sorry, it's just a baby puppy. Quiet. I'm from the future. I 
came here in a time machine that you invented. Time machine? You gotta listen to me. I got enough practical jokes for one evening. Good night, future boy. No, wait, Doc. For the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. Convinced? Yes. I wasn't sure how I was gonna convince him. Good for him. Something wrong with the starter, so I hit it. Somehow we've gotta sneak this back to my laboratory. I gotta get you home. Yes, hey, Doc, that's the right thing to do. Whoa, this is it. This is the part coming up, Doc. No, no, no. This sucker's electric. But I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! How am I going to generate that kind of power? Marty, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're stuck here. Whoa, whoa, Doc. Oh, stuck no. Here. Don't give up, Doc. Here. I got a life in 1985. Marty, I'm sorry. But the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. We know about you never know when lightning the strikes the clock tower. We do know. We do now. It says here that a bolt of lightning is going to strike the clock tower precisely 10.04 p.m. next Saturday night. Perfect. If we could somehow harness this lightning, it just might work. Next Saturday night. We're sending you back to the future! Marty, and you must not leave this house. You must not see anybody or talk to anybody. Anything you do could have serious repercussions yeah. on future events. Do you understand? No kidding. Yeah. He already sure. ruined something. Okay. Marty. You what he ruined to anybody else today was his parents' me? meeting. What if I'm, then he doesn't exist because they don't what, meet? I might have sort of bumped into my parents. Uh -oh. Great Scott. Just as I thought. I feel like this I just put together the problem here. Are. His head's gone. It's like it's like it's been erased. Huh. Erased from existence. Oh no. According to my theory, you interfered with your parents' first meeting. If they don't meet, they won't fall in love, they won't get married, and they won't have kids. That's why your older brother's disappearing from yeah. the photograph. Your sister will follow and that is the problem. Damage, you'll be next. Go to it, kid. Hey, George. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. Lorraine, I'd like you to meet my good friend George McFly. Oh my god, she's so in love with him. This is gonna be so hard. It's pleasure to meet you. How's your head? Oh, uh, good. Oh, she has no time for him. I've been so worried about you ever since you ran off the other night. Are you okay? Doc, she didn't even look at him. This is more serious than I thought. Apparently your mother is amorously infatuated with you instead of your father. The only way we're gonna get those two to successfully mate is if they are alone together. Look! It's a rhythmic ceremonial ritual coming up. A rhythmic ceremonial the sea dance. ritual. To go to this. That's that is so funny. For the first time. Make sure he takes her to that dance. What are you writing? Uh, stories. Science fiction stories. Get out of town. I didn't know you did anything creative. Oh, Aww, I never, he's going to learn so much about his dad, stories. and maybe he'll actually respect him. So anyway, George, about Lorraine. She told me to tell you that she wants you to ask her to the enchantment under the sea dance. Really? Oh, yeah. All you gotta do is go over there and ask her. All right, there she is, George. Now just go in there and invite her. Tell her destiny brought you together. Girls like that stuff. I don't think he's gonna succeed here. I really want him to. Lou, give me a milk. A milk. Chocolate. Chocolate. Lorraine, my density has popped me to you. I'm your density. Destiny. I mean, your destiny. And you're flying. Oh, Friggin' bitch. I told you never to come in here. Ruining everything all the time. Maybe he should kill it. it. Probably not that kind of movie. How much you want, Beth? <laughs> Seth. Aw, oh, man. He's trying to stand up for his dad, but he's just gonna impress the girl more. Oh my god, it's a dream. <laughs> up to his old tricks. What's that thing he's on? It's a board with wheels. It's an absolute dream. Come on, come on, come on! Like, I get it. I, every girl will be swimming, but it's so weird. 
because it's his mom. And also, the more she swims, the less existing he will be. Oh no. Oh my god, I have so much paper. <laughs> Whoa, this is so dangerous. Why are they trying to kill him? <laughs> Bye. Ah, uh, I'm <laughs> He really bested them. Unfortunately, that means he overshadowed his father by like a landslide. Yeah, where does he live? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Oh man, she's really focused. Listen, Doc. You know, there's something I haven't told you about the night we made that Please, Marty, don't tell me. No man should know too much about his own I destiny. I don't understand. I do understand. If I know too much about my own future, I'm in danger of my own existence. Let me show you my plan for sending you home. Okay, now. We run some industrial strength electrical cable from the top of the clock tower down, oh. spinning it over the street between these two lampposts. Meanwhile, we've outfitted the time vehicle okay. with this big pole and hook, which runs directly into the flux capacitor. According to the flyer, at a precisely 10.04 p.m. this Saturday night, lightning will strike the clock tower, electrifying the cable just as the connecting hook makes contact, thereby sending 1.21 gigawatts into the flux capacitor and propelling and him back, back to, to the future. All right, now, watch this. They are going to have to be very precise. Release. Oh. That's not very... Oh God, oh! <laughs> Everything got so much worse than I thought it was going to. That doesn't seem very promising, like I will be trying to think of a new plan. Oh my God, she's relentless. How did you know I was here? I followed you. Oh, uh, this is my uh, doc. My uncle. May seem a little forward, <laughs> like, but I was kind of Shut this down, Marty. If you'd ask me to the enchantment under the sea dance no. on Saturday. No, no, no. What about George? George McFly? I think a man should be strong. So he can stand up for himself. <laughs> the Protect the woman he loves. Oh, my God. How what am I supposed hell? to go to the dance with her if she's already going to the dance with you? Because, George, she wants to go with you. She just doesn't know it yet. Okay, let's go over the plan again. Where are you going to be? I'm going to be at the dance. Right, and where am I going to be? You're going to be in the car with her. She's going to get very angry with me. Why is she going to get angry with you? Nice girls get angry when uh, guys take advantage of them. <gasps> Oh. What? He's got to get go fresh with his own mother? No. There has to be a better way. You see us uh, struggling in the car. You walk up. <sighs> I mean, his existence door, depends on it, so he's got to do what he's got to do, but... Get your damn hands off her. <sighs> you really think I ought to swear? <laughs> he's yes, so proud no, of himself. God damn it, George, swear. You know, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. You're Dr. Brown. The night that I go back in time. He just told him not to tell him this. Shot by terrorists. Marty. I mean, he can prevent it. When he calls him in the future to say, hey, meet me at the mall, he can just say, like, let's not meet at the mall. They're going to find you there. Wow, look at this elaborate dance. Like, my school dances were just the gym. There was no... None of this. This is all done up. That must have been so expensive. <laughs> also, he's adorable. Just dancing away. Having the time of his life, kinda. I hope he does this right. I have a feeling he's gonna mess it up. Marty, I'm almost 18 years old. It's not like I've never parked before. What? <laughs> Lori, Lori, what are you doing? He's finding out his mom actually was a little bit fun. Cabinet. Yeah, well, Honey, don't be such a square. <laughs> Everybody who's anybody drinks. Jeez. 
you smoking, smoking too. Why do you beginning to sound just like my mother? The funny thing is, he's going to try to come on to her, expecting her to get upset, but she's not going to be upset. She's so into it. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh! Uh, uh, you're kissing your mom. You're kissing your own mom. It's like I'm kissing my brother. I guess that doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, that's good. Ah, it's the wrong guy. Biff. The dad's gonna have to come and and save him from Biff. Or save her from Biff. Oh my god. Take him in back, alright? I'll be right there. Oh my god, he's gonna think it's Marty, but it's Biff, and he's gonna have to fight him. Oh my god, Biff, you're such a dick. Get out of there. Oh my gosh, he's gonna get his ass kicked. But He'll win the girl. He's so confident because he thinks it's all set up. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off. Oh, I think you got the wrong car. You gotta follow through, man. You have to save her. Help me. Please. You leave her alone. You're asking for it. And now you're gonna get it. Maybe this is the better way for them to meet because then in the future he'll stand up to that guy too. Maybe. Damn it, man, I slice my hand. Yeah, I slice his hand. She's so weak. Yes. Yeah. Punched. Yeah, he totally did it. I'm so proud of him. Yeah. Hey, he knocked him right out. This probably hurts a lot. Yay! Her hero. That's sweet. That's George McFly? Oh, heck yeah. Hey, guys, you gotta get back in there and finish the dance. Hey, man, look at Marvin's hand. He can't <gasps> play with his hand like that. But he needs him to finish the dance so that they have fun at the dance, so that they fall in See, love. That's they kiss for the first time on the dance floor. And if but no he music, can play the they guitar. Can't dance. If they can't dance, they can't kiss. If they can't kiss, they can't fall in love, and I'm history. It's not really the kind of guitar he likes to play, but... My darling oh, God, they're still disappearing. Do better! George, aren't you gonna kiss me? I, I don't know. George, 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 George. Yeah! In love forever. Question. When they give birth to him and he grows up and he looks just like the kid they knew in high school, isn't that gonna be weird or no? That just doesn't matter, probably. Let's do something that really Oh my god, he doesn't have time to be jamming. Although, he did say at the beginning, I'll never get the chance to play in front of people. And now he does have that chance. <laughs> They're gonna think he's a genius. He's so popular now. He probably did change the future some, because he was never popular before. Got a little flair on that, holy. <laughs> Taking it so far. <laughs> They're all like, never mind. This is just baloney. They're not ready for this music. Oh my god. <laughs> the principal. I guess you guys aren't ready for that. Too much yet. noise. Yeah, that's what I said. It's an evolutionary yeah, it thing. Interesting music. music. Good luck, you guys. You crazy kids. Cutting her pretty close here. Let's send you back at exactly the same time. It'll be like you never left. When the alarm goes off, you hit the gas. Hey! You think you could go back a couple minutes early and save him from getting shot? That's about 30 years. Five minutes earlier? I hope so. What's the meaning of this? You find out in 30 years. It's about the future, isn't it? I refuse to accept the responsibility! Oh no! Thanks, God! <laughs> that would be really loud. 
Oh my god. What if he doesn't make it? What if this doesn't work? Then Marty gets stuck in the past, like, forever, because they'll never be able to predict lightning ever again. What happens to the future if somebody goes into the past and gets stuck there? Does their future self, self stop progressing or existing at all? You would eventually have to change some things in the past in order to live there. I don't think I can wrap my head around this. I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. I can just go back early and warn him. That's what I thought. Okay. 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 If he died just now, Marty would never meet him in the future. Would never get in this car. Would never show up, but there he is. So would he just disappear? Oh my god, I have so many questions. He will have to succeed, because the only way to answer my questions. Or not answer them, but make them moot. <gasps> supposed to hit the gas! Supposed to hit the gas! <laughs> well, that worked. Go! It's stuck on something. Oh my god, there's a tree on it. <gasps> what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? If he didn't get like so electrocuted. <laughs> Holy smoke. Now he has to get to the mall parking lot and warn the dock. He needs to <gasps> He's too late. How is he gonna fix this? He read the note. He had to have read the note and he has a vest on. Yay! Oh proof vest. I I never got a chance to tell you. He put the note back together and he read it. Good. What the hell? All right, what's changed? <laughs> Back in time. What a nightmare. He doesn't think it was all a dream. He might, but it wasn't. Unless it was. That would be a weird ending. Need a rematch. Oh, oh, a rematch? Why? Were you cheating? <laughs> no. Hello. Good morning. <sighs> You guys are great. I think there's Biff out there waxing all right Biff. now. Biff! Uh, now Biff, I want to make sure that we get two coats of wax this time, not just one. Yes. Just finishing up the second coat now. Oh, he wrote a science fiction book? Your first novel. Nice. I told you, you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. It's that dream truck you wanted. Everything worked out so great. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. I guess everything's okay. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God, he looks nuts. You've got to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> So in Back to the Future 2, do they go to the future? Well, that's amazing, I didn't know that. Wow! I love that they set up the second one, or what I think is probably gonna be the second one, 
right at the end of this. Okay, so that was Back to the Future, and I loved it. I am not surprised again that this is a great movie, like a classic that everyone loves, because it was so much fun to watch. It was such a great little story. A lot of really um, creepy things happened with he and his mom, but that's okay. It was part of the story. And uh, and yeah, it had a great ending. I love that it, right at the end they set it up for the next one, or what I hope is the next one, because I would love to see these characters go into the future next. Um, I love that they said back to the future so many times during this movie. Um, I just love when that happens. But yeah, this was great. This was a great one. I'm really excited to keep going with this um, this franchise. I know there's a few of them. Um, so I'm going to visit the next one at some point on this channel as well. And uh, and the, I think there's a third one as well. So um, yeah, I really like I really liked this. I like the characters. I love Doc. He's so quirky and weird. And I and I like uh, Marty. He's a good a good kind of base main character. Um, I don't really know what to say. That was so fun. It was just a really fun movie to watch. That's, I guess that's why everybody likes it. It's just a fun, lighthearted movie, not too serious, pretty funny, a lot of good moments in there, and, um, and I just had a lot of fun watching it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. Um, if you liked this video, please hit like. If you want to keep tuning in with me, please hit subscribe. And also you can visit my Patreon page if you want to get more involved in my channel. And uh, otherwise, thank you very much for being here with me. I'm having so much fun with this channel. I'm really enjoying uh, doing this so far. So I am looking forward to next time. See you soon. Yeah!